Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and you have found a YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress. Hey, this week I'm going to show you very easily and quickly how to take a full colored image and turn it into grayscale. Maybe you have a whole line of logos and you would like to bring some uniformity there by taking them to grayscale. I'm going to show you how to do that without any other tools other than WordPress. So I'll show you two different ways of doing it inside of Gutenberg Blocks. I'll show you how to do it inside of the Divi theme. And I'll also give you the simple code that you can use anywhere on any theme at any time. Of course, this is brought to you by LearnDash. Y'all, when you're ready to get your courses into your WordPress website, be sure to check out their great resources. You could be selling your incredible courses today, offer certifications, have a step-by-step -step process for folks to learn your incredible content. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can go check them out. All right, let's get to the tutorial. So again, I'm going to show you four different examples of how to actually use the grayscale option. I'm going to show you two different versions using blocks and I will show you a third version using Divi Builder and then I'll show you this the straightforward CSS version. So first things first, I'm going to take us to the photo example that I gave you, which is just a straight up image block living here inside of a page or a post. This works either way you go. If you double click on the image, you're going to bring up another menu area. See right up here at the top up here. I want you to click on the little tiny circle, right? We're looking for the ability to add a filter to this image. So we want to apply a filter. And from here, you can choose multiple different types of filters. And really, we're looking for this grayscale option right here. Clicking on that immediately takes your image saturation into grayscale. It is literally that easy. And of course, the other example that I gave you was really where I use this a lot of times. If I want a beautiful gallery area set up, maybe of logos like this, where I really want some uniformity and I don't want a whole collage of different colors from other brands kind of mixed here on the page, I really love taking them to that grayscale tone. So this particular module here, this block is the gallery block. And I'm going to go into the actual image itself. Once you've highlighted which one, right, you can highlight whichever image you're going to try to affect. And you're going to look for image style. And again, you're looking for the option over here to add a filter. We're going to choose grayscale and instantly, again, without having to take any of these into Photoshop, we're going to take that image to grayscale. This works on PNG files, JPEG files, perfectly and easily right there. You just click update and you're off to the races. By the way, if you like this really cool layout that I have here, this is from the free theme called Cadence, and I will give that to you in the link below. This is a really cool child theme. With one click, you can get this fantastic e-commerce layout, totally in the budget of free. Next, we're going to take a look at applying this effect inside the Divi Builder. So I'm going to enable the Builder. And again, this works on any image that you've already uploaded to your media library. You can use it in any module. Anytime there's an image, you're going to click on the little gear icon, open that up, go into the design tab, go down to filters. And then here, you're just going to take that saturation and take it all the way down. Let me move this little module out of the way here so you can see. There you go. There's a little guy right there. Beautiful grayscale. Again, I'll click reset so you can see what that originally was. There it is in full color. And then here it is as I take the saturation out and take it into that grayscale tone. That simple. Click the checkbox and you've got a great, beautiful image. Of course, that would work on a logo as well. So let me actually show you what these two different systems are writing for you behind the scenes. They're just applying some very basic CSS. I'm going to show you that code right now in case you're not using blocks or you're not using the Divi Builder and you would be able to apply this very easy little snippet of code into your WordPress website. Again, I'll put this link in the description box below, but this is really all it's applying. This little item right here, filter grayscale 100%. And of course, you can apply this to a section, to a row, to an entire page. This particular CSS is applying it to an image. 
So you can just tinker and play around with this. It's really cool to try it for yourself. If you click on the button that says try it yourself, you can come over here and affect this by checking this out. Go to 50% grayscale and click run, and then it's a little bit toned down. You see that there? You take that down to zero grayscale run. It's gonna be full color. But that's, in a sense, what you're doing and what those systems are writing for you, that very quick, easy little piece of CSS. Y'all, I hope that was helpful for you. I have nearly 500 videos here on this YouTube channel, so be sure to click like and subscribe. Hang out with me every single week. If you're interested in learning more about WordPress, about the Divi theme, about search engine optimization, or social media marketing, I have all sorts of playlists right here for you. I hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions, be sure to give me a tweet or reach me over on my website. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you next week, everyone. Bye-bye.